Today we're going to be discussing one of the most important features in DaVinci, but at the same time it's one of the least discussed. Hi, I'm Alex Jordan from Learn Color Grading and FilmSimplified.com. Let's talk about curves. Let's take a look at this image here, and I have my curve here. Now, curves give you a lot of power because you can add multiple points, as many points as you want, and you can get like very strong control over your image. So for example, if I control this point and I bring it up here, notice that I'm increasing the exposure in the midtones. However, I'm also affecting all the other points in the curve here. So, because I brought the curve from the middle here, notice that this point was affected, this point was affected. So, doing something in curves, most of the time will affect other parts of the same curve, unless you have placeholders. So, let's bring this here, for example, and I'm gonna have a placeholder here. And now when I bring the midtones up, notice that this point stays in place because I have it as a placeholder. Great. But sometimes you don't want to get very granular. You don't want to spend all of this time figuring out where your points are and how you do it. You just wanna do things faster. So let me go to reset all grades and nodes. And then I'm gonna come in curves here to these three dots. And down here I have something called add default anchors. If I click it, now I have these anchors created here. I have these points added to me. And these points are simply placeholders that will allow me to adjust the image in a more granular way without affecting the rest of the curve. So for example, if I want to bring this curve up, notice that I'm only bringing a very specific range in the image. Take a look at this area here without affecting the rest of the image. If I want to bring this point down or up again, I'm affecting a, cer a certain range and if I want to bring this down, I'm affecting another range. So this is very important. However, you cannot use it, you know, from the get go. Usually what I do is this, I'm sorry. I, okay. This is art. I, do, I don't want to say that you cannot use it. You can of course use it from the get go. However, I use it in a different way and you can use it in a different way, of course. So I'm just going to come to color, reset all grades and nodes. What I usually do is that I adjust the image fast. So I'm just going to bring this up a bit here. Uh, maybe just bring this down to uh, bring the highlights a bit just and maybe bring this down. So I just color corrected the image in a fast way, let's say, for example, and I'm going to come to nodes at the serial. And in the new node, I'm just going to come uh, to the three dots here and add default anchors. And now I can use the default anchors. Usually what I do is I start from the one in the bottom here. So I'm just going to bring it down a bit, maybe. Maybe just bring this down a bit. This will insulate and this will make the lighting on her face looks much better. And I'm just going to bring this up. You see these two points, for example, just by bringing this down and this up, we added more contrast to her face. I'm going to hit shift in D to see the image before and after. Take a look at the contrast on her face before after. And then I can do the same for the rest of the curves. So this is the Y curve. I can simply come to R here and I'm just gonna click here again, add default anchors and I have the anchors for the red channel and I can maybe increase it a bit in the highlights, you know, bring it down a bit in shadows and yeah. This is a nice look. Take a look at the image before and after. And this was done very simply by adding the default anchors, which is not something you want to do all the time, but it definitely when you're in a hurry, it makes your work much, much easier and faster. Now let's come to this image here. I'm going to go to the Y curve and I'm just going to bring this down and I'm going to bring this up. So I'm just balancing the image really fast, much better. And maybe I can just use the midpoint here much better. So now this is my first curve adjustment on my first node. I'm going to go to nodes and add a serial node. And in the new node, now I can add my default anchors because I just color corrected the image in the first one. And now I can simply bring this down, bring this down. Yeah, much better. So take a look at the image before and after. So these are the anchor points. I hope this was helpful. If you found this helpful, please visit us at learncolorgrading and filmsimplified.com. Thank you.